Welcome to the SQL Offline installation video. In this video, I install SQL Offline and the data client drivers that SQL Offline supports. You can download at innards.com. You can also search for SQL Offline in the Windows Store as a desktop app. Now here I am installing the desktop edition, which is free to use. The Enterprise Edition includes a key to enable online package receipts, but otherwise installation and features are the same. Now it's a small app at 10 megabytes. It requires admin rights only for installation and should not ask for a reboot. I am now going to install client drivers. First, let's see which client drivers are already installed. In the About box, I can see a list of drivers that are included with Windows 8. SQL Offline is the first program that I installed on a clean version of Windows 8. Client drivers allow SQL Offline and other programs such as Microsoft Excel to connect to a variety of data files and servers. The access drivers included with Windows do not support newer access or Excel files. But if you have Office 2008 or later installed, the newer client drivers are included. Here I am installing Microsoft Office 2010. I'll load SQL Offline and look again in the About box. Here I can see that I have ACCDB and XLSX drivers installed. I can also look in the File menu and see that Excel files are available. So far in this video, I have identified the client drivers included with Microsoft Windows and Office. I am now going to download and install some standalone client drivers. Doing this allows me to work with MySQL, SQLite, Postgre, DBase, SQL Server Compact, and Windows Azure SQL Database. I will also update drivers to better support SQL Server and Oracle. Product Help provides a list of supported data clients and provides download links. I have downloaded the Access Database engine, which supports newer Access and Excel files. I would install this if I did not have Office. Now I am downloading the DBase Fox Pro client driver. I'm first going to download all of the client drivers. Later, I'll install them. Now, all of these client drivers are free and easy to search for. But again, for convenience, SQL Offline Product Help provides download links. Excel uses the Access Client Driver. Now, so far, I have downloaded data file clients. MySQL is the first data server client driver I download. MySQL requires that you create an account to identify yourself. Here I am downloading MySQL's 32-bit driver. Now, SQL Offline uses 32-bit drivers. This usually means that you download the 32-bit client installer, even if you are on a 64-bit machine as I am. Now SQL Server is an exception to that rule, and I'll point that out later. Here I download the Oracle 32-bit client. Oracle also requires me to create an account before I can download. Now this download is quite a bit larger it includes many drivers and tools, so I'll complete this download in the background. For PostgreSQL, I'll download the last 32-bit driver in the list. One thing I want to note as I download these client drivers, SQL Offline does not treat all data files and servers in a generic manner. A goal in creating SQL Offline is to provide a tool that uses free and popular client drivers but also supports their differences. For example, with Postgre, a sequence is created for an identity column. You don't have to manage this, it just works. Windows included an SQL Server client, but it is an older version. Now, the SQL Server 2012 native client driver supports additional data types, as well as Windows Azure SQL database connections. And you can still connect to earlier versions of SQL Server, so I am going to download the 2012 native client driver. SQLite is a small data file driver that includes a complete SQL engine. So this download is the only thing I need to work with SQLite. Okay, now that I've downloaded the client drivers, I can install them. Here are all of the files that I downloaded in this video. Now I have Office, so I do not need to install the Access Database Engine. I'll start with MySQL and take you all the defaults during installation. Next, I'll install Postgre. 
Now, I get a warning message. Hopefully, Windows 8 recognizes the driver by the time you watch this video, but if not, you can click Run anyway. And we will do the same for SQLite. I get a warning message and we'll click run anyway. And it will install with all of the defaults. Now to Microsoft SQL Server Native Client 2012. Unlike the other client installers, for SQL Server I should have downloaded the installer that matches my version of Windows. I'm running a Windows 64, so I should have downloaded the 64-bit installer. Now I've made this mistake enough times that I decided not to edit it out of the video. Um, so I'll quickly download the 64-bit driver and try again. Now I'm searching in this page because the Microsoft SQL Server download page is so large, I find I need to search for the word native to quickly find the driver. This time I'll run and no errors. Again, installing with all of the defaults. And now I will install the DBase Fox Pro drivers. For Oracle, I run setup.exe inside the zip file. Now the Oracle drivers included with Windows do not support Unicode, so I am installing newer drivers. Now Windows 8 also does not recognize the Oracle installer, so I click to see the error message and then run anyway. And as if in response to Microsoft, Oracle does not recognize Windows 8 and claims it does not meet requirements. Now, aside from the bickering during installation, my experience has been that the drivers work quite well. In the Oracle installer, I select the Oracle ODBC driver and the Oracle provider for OLADB. The SQL offline defaults to OLADB if both are installed, but you can choose either one. Now back to the Windows Start menu to load SQL offline and see what we've got. I see I'm missing one driver, the SQL Server Compact Edition. So back to the help to get the SQL Server Compact Edition link, download it, and I will install it. Now, SQL Server Offline supports Compact Editions version 3 and 4. Here I'm installing version 4, but unlike most data file drivers, the newer driver does not support the older version of the file. So if you want to support SQL Server Compact Edition 3.5, you would need to install it as well. But I am done installing. In SQL Offline, I can see that the entries in the ribbon under File and Server are enabled. And in the About box, I see that all of the latest supported client drivers are installed. Now, after installation, I no longer require admin rights, so I'll log out of this installer account and complete this video. Thank you for watching.